the opportunity to create common ground, to create jobs at a time when our economy is struggling, to free us from our dependency on energy imports at a time when our current account imbalance is much too high, to improve our nation's security, which is undermined by being dependent on places like the Persian Gulf and Saudi Arabia, to improve uh, our climate and to deal with that issue at a time when Congress will be taking that up later this year. All these things come together today in a single announcement. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that it's an Indiana company uh, once again leading the way. We have been at the epicenter of today's and yesterday's automotive industry. This gives us an opportunity to be at the forefront of tomorrow's automotive industry as well. I understand, John, uh, uh, this initiative will create up to 550 jobs uh, by 2010 and perhaps 5,000 uh, shortly thereafter. That is a significant addition uh, to our state and to our country's economy, particularly in a sector that has, shall we say, had some difficulties uh, of late. Uh, a vehicle that will uh, achieve 100 miles per gallon, this is transformative and will help not only motorists with their out-of-pocket expenses, but will help our entire economy uh, be even more efficient. So. Uh, I've been in public life now. I've been privileged to work for the people of my state um, going on 23 years. Uh, this has the potential to be uh, the most significant announcement uh, in which I participated in all those 23 years, if we see this through to its successful completion. And the final thing I would say is um, you were at the White House. I'm sure uh, Ms. Browner spoke on behalf of the President, but uh, I was pushing for the inclusion of funds in the stimulus bill. Uh, for electric vehicles, advanced vehicles. The President supported that and it was enacted into law. I am now very uh, forcefully urging Secretary Chu uh, to uh, get the loans committed for advanced vehicles that will help make uh, announcements like this, not just an isolated uh, incident, uh, but instead a permanent part of America's automotive industry and uh, economic future. So John, I thank you for your leadership. Again, I'm proud that Indiana is the home of this initiative and I look forward to working with you Democrats, Republicans, legislative, and the executive branch uh, to make this happen.